Hey guys, Christy with SharkPixel.com here, wanting to show you a few of the new tools that were rolled out and introduced in the new Photoshop CS6, which was released to the public yesterday. I hope you guys learn something from this and you can apply these tools in your everyday workflow. So the things that we're going to touch on quickly are the content aware move tool in its extend mode which is new to Photoshop CS6 also the patch tool using its new content aware setting and then one or two tools that were introduced in Photoshop CS5 like uh, the puppet warp tool um, what we're gonna do quickly today is just basically changing the um, tail and the positioning of the tail of this mermaid. Um, thank you so much to Chris Crumley at chriscrumley.com for the picture and, and letting us use it. Um, so let's get started. Like I said, we're just going to be quickly moving the orientation of the tail using a few of the tools and using no liquify whatsoever, which is which is kind of cool. So let's let's get started. Here we've got our flattened background layer of the image so what I'm gonna do first is hit command J to uh, to copy this layer here okay and with that selected I'd like to go ahead and make a loose selection of this tail and I am keeping it pretty loose because I do want to give Photoshop that kind of buffer around around the tail around the selection so that it kind of knows what the background is um, so using our content aware move tool here we're gonna make sure that instead of the mode move we've got it on mode extend and we're going to just drag and drop just slightly to show a little bit of an extended tail there and giving Photoshop a minute to think about it but it looks pretty good right there a little bit of ghosting maybe right here but we can get rid of that later easily so go ahead and deselect that and what I'd like to do now is go ahead and make a selection of this tail again but this time I want to use the quick selection tool here so yes layer selected thank you so pulling in the tail and we're just gonna select the bottom of the tail actually right now it doesn't have to be the whole thing um, making sure we get all those little little areas in there um, you know quickly I'm just gonna grab I'm just gonna shoot hop over to refine edge here just a bit and we're gonna take the smart we're gonna go ahead and shift this edge out just a bit making sure we get everything I just wanna make sure we get all the aspects of the tail. I'm not really worried about the uh, the artifacts on either side because this is, like I said, this is a quick, quick little tutorial. We're gonna export our output as a selection and hit OK. So that's just giving me a little bit of extra extra room, extra wiggle room on either side. The same thing can be um, achieved using the select menu, modify, and expand and then putting in a few pixels depending on your image size so just wanted to let you know that so now with this selection we are going to go into puppet warp and I have chosen to keep show mesh off um, I just think it's easier and I'm just going to use pinpoints so I'm just adding a few of these pinpoints to the tail and this really kind of reminds me of Illustrator just a bit. So now I can drag and drop these and it will kind of move accordingly to what I'm trying to get it to do. 
and just adding a little bit of movement here a little bit of life should we say whoops no I'm letting it really feel like it's actually in motion alright so we've got that taken care of so thank you puppet warp so if I deselect there it looks great except we need to get rid of this uh, this background tail because we can't have that shining through like that it's not gonna look very nice at all so gonna quickly turn off this top layer because we don't need it right now I'm gonna duplicate the background layer so that you can and I'm horrible with naming layers people G-R-O-U-N-D. Okay, so I've got a copy of the background, and I've got a foreground layer, which I have turned off. Okay? So with the foreground layer turned off in this background two layer, quickly again, this is the third time I've selected this tail, so I probably should have saved my selection and then loaded it back in a couple of times, which is easy, but I will... If anybody wants me to show a video of that, I can. Just let me know. Um, so with this tail selected here, I'm going to cut it off right there at the thinnest point. And with that said, go ahead and go to Edit, Fill, and Content Aware. Go ahead and use that. Wow, it does a really, really good job of filling that content with what's around it. I'm going to do it one more time so that it doesn't pull in that watermark or it pulls in more of that watermark. Hold on one second. All right, well, simple clone stamp. We'll get rid of that. So I got rid of the tail completely in one step. That used to take a lot, a lot, a lot more time um, in Photoshop. So thank you, Content Aware. You've saved me on many occasions. Um, on this background two layer, we are going to go to the Spot Healing Brush tool. And we are going to click Content Aware so that it's basically using that kind of algorithm in the Spot healing brush tool and no need to sample an area at all I can just get rid of that kind of stuff anything that I think needs to be tweaked just a bit I can we're getting a little bit of this ghosting or fuzziness when it comes to trying to blend the layers together which is understandable but what's really cool is this create texture setting on the spot healing brush so if there are those areas that I think are a little bit soft that don't really that don't really match up or they look you know like like they've been cloned or anything like that it's so simple to just add that surrounding texture back in and um, it works really really well I'm really really thrilled so adding that tail back on we've got on this foreground layer we've got this little area here let's go ahead and get rid of that as well gone alright well, that was pretty simple if you think about it in the grand scheme of things. How long did it used to take you to do that? Quickly using the clone to just clean up this edge. So what used to take quite 
quite, quite a long time, is now taking a couple minutes. So let me group these together for you to show you the before and after. So nothing going on, movement going on. Nothing going on, movement going on. So anyway, just something small. Thought you guys might enjoy it. And hopefully you learned something and you'll come back soon for another video tutorial. Thanks so much and check out sharkpixel.com.